Hi guys, Valentina here. Um, the question today is about having a relationship with an introvert. That's a good one. Um, having the personal experience of being an introvert. <laughs> I can speak <laughs> for all my partners and um, for other introverts that I know in addition to having a degree in psychology, right? And, and also talking to people as clients. So having a relationship with introvert can be challenging to some, specifically to extroverts. <laughs> if you're on the opposite spectrum, you will find introverts very challenging and you can't understand them. So if you're the jovial type, you may not even be attracted to an introvert because you can't even get into their... Uh, you, you can't get them, period. They will be too foreign to you. They probably won't be very attractive. But if you are somewhere close to the introverted side, but not, I mean, close to the uh, extroverted side, but not fully extroverted, you might end up in a, a relationship with an introvert. So you need to know a few things. First of all, introverts come on a spectrum, just like extroverts and everybody else. So some are obviously way more introverted than others and some are also uh, more skilled. They have an adaptive style. That would be me. My adaptive style is extroverted. I've learned how to be extroverted even though my innate style is very introverted. What that looks like is if I don't have to talk to anybody for weeks on end, I'm perfectly happy with that. I can be in my home with my dog, on my hikes, reading my books, watching my videos, entertain myself endlessly, all by myself, with my earplugs on, meditate, <laughs> do yoga, and not feel alone. In fact, I feel rejuvenated by spending time alone. Introverts seek time alone. That doesn't mean they don't like your company. That doesn't mean that you're not interesting to them. They draw energy. They fill up, they heal, they regenerate when they're alone. And they need alone time. They think best when they're alone. They gain balance. They get centered when they're alone. Introverts in a party hide in the corners. Or... Those who have learned, who are more adopted, they can occasionally be the center of attention or carry on fun conversations and actually even have a good time at the party. But they reach a point where they need to go away. <laughs> and the more interaction outside, the more intensity of the interaction outside, the more they need to retreat inside, the more they need the quiet time listen to their music and do whatever they need to do to get back to a sense of fullness again. So generally an introvert feels like they are spreading out, giving away their energy and uh, being depleted when in socially active, socially intense situations. While an extrovert in the same situation feels energized, excited, and happy. Some introverts might even feel fearful or uncomfortable and anxious, right? So if you're in a relationship with an introvert, you have to honor their need for a long time. And you have to consider that the reason they're not having a good time at the party is not because the party sucks, or you suck, it's because they feel drained sometimes. They feel discombobulated. I have a hard time in situations when there's too many things going on because I like to keep track of everything that's going on and I can only keep track of so many things. So if there's too many things happening, too many conversations and too much stimulation, I reach my bandwidth and it's, it's frustrating and I kind of sort of shut down. I'm just like, deer in the headlights. I, I don't know which way to look and what to pay attention to sometimes. 
So if you're in a relationship with introverts, you'll find out that they prefer smaller gatherings. They, they prefer intimate conversations, intimate, uh, intimate places. Places where they can afford themselves some privacy and, and sort of a little bit of a barrier from everything else that's happening. And again, that's not because they hate you or they hate the party. It's just because they have that need. It's natural. It doesn't reflect on you. So if you're with an introvert, you can't expect them to be the life of the party all the time. But you should expect them to say, honey, you go ahead. I'll just stay home tonight. <laughs> or I'm tired. I'm going to read a book. <laughs> It's the weekend. Let's go out and have fun on the lake. I want to sleep in. <laughs> right? So there will be differences in how they appreciate the environment compared to the way you appreciate the environment. And it's super important to not take it personally. So maybe that gives you a little bit of a, a peek into the introverted experience. Um... Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is they may not text you 50 times a day. <laughs> Sometimes you text them and it takes a while to get a text back. <laughs> they are not watching their phone, most likely. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's a common one. People gripe about it, but it could be other reasons why people are not answering their phone, right? So I don't want you to misunderstand that. Everybody who doesn't answer their phone must be an introvert. That's not the case. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Give me the thumbs up if you think so. Let your friends know by sharing this video. Let Google know or YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google. Let YouTube know that this is important. So give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and help me spread the word. I really, really appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.